And as the sun on the seashore, your descendants will take possession of the gate of their enemies. Watch that. When we take possession of the gate of your enemy, that means there's no way by any means that your enemy can overcome you. You go into the territory of your enemy, but they can never do you any harm because of this way. That's number 18. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Watch another word. Because you have what? Obeyed me. Then Abraham returned to his servant and they set off together for Beersheba. And Abraham stayed in Beersheba. Stay in Beersheba, okay. Right, that's good. So Abraham obediently the Lord. We have been reading Genesis chapter 12 that when the Lord told Abraham to go to the land, he doesn't know, he didn't know. He obeyed the Lord and went. And Bible said, as he took off, he arrived at the place. He arrived at the place. Obey. And then the Hebrews chapter 11, verses number 8, let's read. Hebrews 11, 8. Give me that Hebrews 11, 8. Hebrews 11, 8. See, by faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place, he will later receive as his inheritance, obey it and wait. Even though he did not know where he was going. And then chapter 22, blow the mind of God. I've been talking about Abraham, obedience, and then how God persuaded Abraham to believe and trust in him. We saw the friendship, we saw the conversation, we saw the fellowship between God and Abraham, the relationship between God and Abraham. When Abraham was asking God many, many questions. And Abraham was not asking that question to repair against God. He was asking the question to know the details of the assignment. He was asking the question to draw, draw him to God. Most of the times we ask the question not because we want to know more. We ask the question because we don't want to do. We don't want to obey. Sometimes we ask the question because of we know more to know. <coughs> but Abraham did not didn't do that. For <coughs> this, previous ones they were talking about obedience and somebody uh, uh, you know uh, uh, definition he gives to obedience is uh, the, the attitude. The attitude play a major role in obedience. And let's see what is obedience. Uh, 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 to comply with an order, request, or law, or submission to another's authority. Every human being has the power. We were created in the image of God. As a matter of fact, no human being has power over human being. If you read Genesis chapter 1, chapter 2, when God was created the earth, he said that. After created Adam, he said that I give you a power and authority over all feces and the animals. God indeed said that I'm giving you the power over man, right? In the human is a relationship and a fellowship, respect and the honor. That's why every time you want to take power, authority over people, people begin to remain. Even your own case. They will not tell you, but they will go to basement and say something. Why well, you want to rule my life? Because that is not how God created us. Am I talking sense? Today I'm going to give you a few keys that will help you and I. Why we find it so difficult for me for the beginning myself? I can stand here and tell you, obey, obey, obey. That is not the issue. The issue is the easiest way that will help you and I to obey God. So the definition of biblical obedience is to hear God's word and to act accordingly. 
So biblical obedience to God means to hear, number one. Trust, number two. Submit, number three. And surrender to God and his way. So if God tells you something that my son do this to me and you didn't understand, ask God. It's not a bad Hello? That's the problem we are facing. If a person tell me to do something I didn't hear, understand, how to go to him. Oh, Apostle, he said I should do something. I forget. Can you give me more details? Is there a rebellion? But this is what we lack. That's why I show you the difference between we lack from Africans and then the white people. The white people. So what we said, the Lord said, take your son. Go and sacrifice your son. And Abraham immediately he did. Without telling the wife. Do you know he didn't tell the wife? It's what I'm going to show you. It's what I'm going to show you. Because any time Abraham tell the wife, somebody says something that concerning faith and obedience, be careful the voices you hear. Somebody said, one of the teachers said, Pastor Daniel was something. He says, Yeah, Pastor Daniel said, I mean, what is it? He said, Concerning faith and obedience, be careful. You need to identify some voices. Identify your own voice. And identify the voice of your wife. Identify the voice of your pastor and identify the voice of the Lord. If not, you will make a big mistake. Because the servant was convincing Abraham, convincing her to him to the point that I also hear from the Lord. The Lord told us together. I hear from the Lord. Look at myself. I am old. You are old. The Lord has told me to give you my message. It's not in the scripture. I'm telling the human. I told you that you need to overcome the inner critics. One of the inner critics that brought Abraham low and that was her wife. He was inner. That's why when uh, 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 Ishmael rebelled and then Sarah complained. Look at this, your son is rebelling. Hey, what am I going to do? Do it. I'm tired. Do you know the reason? I did not think that. He was mad because there was no peace in the house. Because you brought her to me. If you want to kill, kill her. I'm tired. Have you ever done that to your wife before? I did that. I did that. And because you have done this, sacrifice your son. And God keep on saying, You are only begotten son. I swear by myself. Do you know that the perfect obedience bring and cause the national blessing? If you obey, the obedience that you take today will affect thousand generations ahead. Say so that your generation will be this, they will take over the gate of their world. Enemy because of your what obedience. And my question is, why? What is what is the relationship between obedience and submission, and love and the fear of the Lord? Why obedience has become so difficult for we to obey God? So this morning, I'm saying, brief, simple word of you: the key to flow into perfect obedience. Look at something. The key. To flow into perfect obedience. The key to flow into perfect obedience is a well grounded relationship. Say a well grounded relationship. The key to flow that obedience will be easy for us, between us and God, is a well grounded relationship.
between relationship and the fellowship. If somebody has a relationship with somebody, it's easy. But that relationship is not enough. The reason why Abraham was able to obey God to act, and God swore by himself, is because Abraham had a relationship with the Lord. To the point that Abraham developed that relationship into fellowship. What is the difference between relationship and the fellowship? The difference is that fellowship is the company of people that share the same interest or aim. While relationship is connection or association, the condition of being related. So when you say somebody has a relationship with somebody, I can, my mom, I have a relationship with my family, right? Because we are related. Black, right? But we, we might not have a fellowship. Are you getting the word? We might not have a fellowship. So, we can have a relationship, but we might not have what? Fellowship. And when you accept Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you have that relationship. First step is what? Relationship. And it's up to me and you to develop that relationship into what? Fellowship. Friendship. So when there is a relationship between in the when there is a fellowship in the relationship, it's easier to talk, we flow in conversation. Easier to talk. Easier to ask questions. Because there's what? Fellowship. As we all here, we have relationship. But I don't believe we all have what? Fellowship. And if you have fellowship with somebody, and that fellowship develop into relationship, I tell you, you can talk in hell. You talk in hell. The reason is, and we find it difficult to obey God. Yes, we have relationship with God, but we don't have fellowship with the God. No. That is why the book of Genesis chapter 15, Abraham, because he developed, God can as a friendship. Say, so come, let us raise it together. God always wants to raise it together with men so that our relationship, our friendship will be easy, will be cordial. So we will never find it difficult to obey God and trust God. That's what God said in Genesis chapter 7. Can I hide this from Abraham? Because Abraham had developed that relationship to the point that it had become God. Yes, friendship, fellowship. And if you don't have fellowship with somebody, can you say you're seeking with that other people? No. You know that we, are, we have relationship with our parents, but some secret we can never share with our parents. But we can share that secret with friends because we have what? Fellowship. So, God is a gentle God. He's easy God. God come to our so that you and God will have what? At a fellowship, yes, fellowship. We have that fellowship. So do you know that God wants to hear your secret? And God also wants to hear, tell you his what? Secret. And if this thing is there, ah, our obedience to God will be easy. And the Bible says, Abraham came to that level. Can I have this? No. Then Abraham, because that relationship with the Lord, said, Father, can you, if you find future people, can you resource it? He said, No. If you don't have uh, 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 a friendship, can you continue? Say that. No. If you can, God said, No. Bible said, After when Abraham finished, God let. So the reason why obedience has become tough for me and you is yes, we have relationship, but we don't have fellowship. Of the Lord. So it made obedience to God tough. Let me give you an example. The example is clear. Do you know that the, you know the, 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 do you know the reason why the enemy in it, the, 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 the one of the things that the enemy wants to destroy always is what? Relationship. That's why we have problems in our 
formalities. Do you know that somebody, the wife and the husband can, can be related? But they might not have fellowship. Do you agree with me? They live in one room, one common roof. I'm telling you, they will sleep in the one common bed. But there's no word. Hello? They live like a roommate. I'm not making sense. I'm trying to make the thing easy for us. Because we are still on the Abraham's to be a faith, right? How Abraham was able to obey God. 